Hey folks, this is the second part. We're going to use our calculators on this lesson. You're going to hear the bell ring. I'm locking the class so I can get this in. So be patient. In about one minute, you're going to hear the bell ring. So oh, about one second. Okay, I'm trying to get this done before my kiddos come in. I'm on my prep period. Okay, so travel agency claims that the average daily cost of meals and lodging for vacationing in Texas is less than the same average cost for vacationing in Virginia. The table shows the results of a random survey of vacationers in each state. Okay, the two samples are independent. That's important also, and we're going to test it at a 1%. Is there enough evidence to support the claim um, that the average cost of meals and lodging is less in Texas than in Virginia? Okay, notice the standard deviations, the population standard deviations are given. Okay, so our claim is, is that it's less than, and so our null is going to be greater than or equal to, okay? All right, so here we go. Note that the standard deviations are known, the samples are random, it stated that, and independent, and the populations are normally distributed, okay? Because the sample size is, uh, well, they're both greater than or equal to 30, so we're safe on that too. So we can use a z-test. All right, so now let's go to your graphing calculators and go scroll over to hit stat and then scroll over to tests, and you'll see on number three it says a two-sample z-test, okay? We're going to plug in all of this information in our calculators right here okay so um, go to stat and then plug in the first standard deviation the second standard deviation um, the first sample mean um, the first sample size the second sample mean the second sample size and then scroll down make sure that you do less than because that is our claim right there okay and uh, and then if you go down and hit calculate you're going to see those p-values right there. If you hit um, draw, it'll give you that picture right there. Now, let's go ahead and make an interpretation because the, the test is a left-tailed test because it was less than, and at the 1%, the rejection region is our z-score is negative 2.33. So the standardized test statistic is negative 1.25 right there, and that's not in the rejection region, so we should fail to reject the null. We can also note, you guys, that here's the probability. The probability is over 10%, and since that's greater than 1%, we can still fail to reject the null. So, of course, we interpret that. Kids are knocking on my door. There's not enough evidence at the 1% level of significance to support the traveler's agency claim. Okay, if you are in my class, you're going to go ahead and plug that in. This one you're going to have to go to and then do the data. Put it in uh, one of them in list one and the other one in list two, and then you'll see. You'll get all of that. Okay, take care.